Hello creative friends, this is Joy. So today I have a watercolor set. This is Artist Trove watercolors with uh, two water brushes. And let me open this up. I've never heard of these. I just happened to see them on, see it on Amazon and thought, well, that's a kind of a neat set. Comes with a card already um, as to what the colors are. And so you could see that here. And then it comes with uh, two watercolor brushes. So I was wanting to play around with these and just kind of get an idea and a feel for what these colors look like on paper. So I'm going to go straight into the greens. It's a nice vibrant green. I have a thing of water and a napkin here to clean my brush off on. And go into the next color. Nice color green. It looks like it gives you four different shades of green. A nice uh, lime green and then this one seems yeah there you go I didn't spray these but ahead of time I guess if I had sprayed them they could be activating and that might help but yeah we're just gonna go for it <laughs> These, I can, you know, you can kind of tell what the colors are. So that's kind of nice. So here we got a nice blue, dark blue. And see, this looks like a lighter blue. And then let's see what this what's this blue? A different shade of blue. But so far, I mean they seem, you know, nice and bright, you know, pigmented. Um, they go on nicely on the paper. So let's see, we have like an okra. And an orange, it looks like. And a yellow. Oh, that's a nice bright yellow. Another yellow. Oh, that's even brighter. Those two seem real similar. And then I, I'm going to try this yellow here. And it looks like it's even brighter yet. And then let's see, we got some reds. That looks pretty orange, but a different orange from that one. And let's see, try this one. No, that's a red red. That's definitely red. This looks more like a burgundy. Or what darker red? And this looks purple? Purple pink. It's like a hot pink. This looks like a brighter pink. Oh, it's actually a paler pink. And we've got like some browns here. 
like how these are shaped. They're kind of rounded on the top. I mean, I don't know if that makes a difference, but it seems like my, you know, when I wipe my brush across them, it kind of helps pick up the color a little better. Whether that's true or not, or just, you know, I don't know. So we got some purple. And then another purple. Let's see what this purple does. It's a lighter purple, almost a purple, bluish purple. And then we've got black, which I'm sure I don't need a whole lot of that. Gray, which I think is interesting. They give you a gray. And then a white. So we'll go ahead and do the white. And of course, you're not going to see it because it's white. <laughs> but what I can do is, let's see if I want to add white. I don't know if it'll reactivate. Okay, so that didn't make a difference. Let's try it on red. Yeah, we can tell it make see that it made a little bit of a difference on that. I'm curious um, mixing colors, so I'm gonna mix a blue and a red. Should make purple. Let's see if it does. So we're gonna do the blue and I don't know, you know what? That looks kind of orangey. Let's use this red. And see if we get purple. Yeah, it's um, you can see a little bit of purple coming up, but I think I got too much red, so let's try to get some more blue. You know, I probably got too much blue, so I guess it depends on get just a touch more red. It depends on whether you want it more of a reddish purple or bluish purple, but not sure, but you do definitely get like a purple. And let's see if I mixed green, let's see, green, and red if I get orange. So we'll just do a little bit of the red. So red seems pretty strong. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a brownish orange color. I guess it depends on it. You'd have to play around with it a little bit and add more orange if you wanted it, or more, um, more green. But you've got orange, so, I mean, why you would want to mix an orange or a purple. I don't know, because you've got several shades of purple, you got several shades of orange in here. Um, I guess, you know, the only thing would be is uh, if you planned on doing some blending on your page, you might want to test on a separate piece of paper um, the blending of the two colors so you don't end up with uh, brown or something muddy looking. But all in all, I mean, I like the colors in this set. I like the idea that it comes with two water brushes. You can see the water brushes. Um, that's a, looks like a thicker, that's almost the size of the paintbrush I was using. And this is a pointier one. So, I mean, I think this is going to be a nice addition to my travel kit. I have a travel kit that I take with me when I go um, on the Journey Day book outings. Um, we go to different locations and we do art journaling on location. And so I got this to take with me um, for when we go to those outings. And I think it's going to be a really nice addition to my um, travel kit. Um, I have one that I've been using. It's a very small, very inexpensive one 
that I bought um, initially because it was cheap and you know I didn't really have a lot of money to spend at the time um, to put in my kit and I like it the watercolors are okay but they're kind of chalky when they dry so I was really looking for something that you know had a little bit more range of color which this one does that the colors are nice and bright and these seem to be nice and bright and they don't seem like they're chalky when they draw when they're dry so I like all of those aspects and I love the fact that they give you two different types of water brushes in the kit so a win-win as far as I'm concerned and this wasn't really expensive it was kind of like um, an in-between price range it wasn't one of the cheaper ones and it wasn't one of the more expensive ones um, I'm you know an advocate for being frugal as much as possible but I think it was well worth, you know, the money spent. So I like it, and I'm excited to start using it. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.